One thing I learned from that is that it's good that I have trained my hair to repel water. It's good that I have trained my hair to have tightly shut cuticles. It's good that I trained my hair to basically be water resistant because even and and that is the beauty of the mini braids chain. Like nothing is set in stone. my eighth week update these are my mini braids at eight weeks old And they are eight weeks old right now. What I did is that I rebraided them as that week of Christmas from the 20th, I think, to the 24th. Yes, what I decided to do was I rebraided, I rebraided the sides and the very front of my hair, like maybe up to here. The day today is Friday, the 19th of January. So, and this one right here is eight weeks old. The more those ones are eight weeks old. And then these ones are the ones that have been repaired. And I also repaired the sides right here. And I didn't even touch the back. And I didn't even touch the back. This, these are my braids at eight weeks. Another thing that I want to mention on this update. <sighs> is that I washed my hair in braids. Yep, I did wash my hair in braids. What happened is that, uh, and so Christmas happened, I rebraided whatever, and so Christmas, and then Christmas happened. And then about that last week of 2023, we went to the beach. We went to the beach. And so I was like, okay, I'm not going to, like, I don't have to bring a swim cap because I am not going to swim. I am just there with family, whatever. <sighs> I thought, you know, I don't know that I was going to still leave the sand, maybe put my feet in, you know, some type of waiting situation. And then one thing led to another. And before I knew it, I was totally wet, including my hair. Like it was a fun thing, heaven. And so, and so I came back and I washed my hair, and I was dreading washing my hair because I once, I think around between 2020, 2021, 2022. At the beginning of 2022, I would wash my hair in braids like multiple times a week. Like my braids were just, I I was always washing them because I thought that that was good. Yabon, I was under the impression that that is the way to go. Okay, and obviously I was wrong. Not washing hair in braids. I was not wrong with thinking that washing hair in braids is good. No. I was just wrong to think that for hair to grow, for hair to whatever, you have to constantly wash it. And so on the way from the beach, I was like, now I'm going to have to wash my hair in braids. Do you remember how frizzy your braids were? 
when you were washing them in braids. Now you are going back to the frizz. Ha ha ha. And so I came back. I washed my hair. As you guys can see, my hair still has minimal frizz. Okay, because I only washed my hair that one time. I didn't overdo it. I only washed my hair that one time in the braids. Maybe even now, if I overdo it, then my hair is going to freeze up, whatever. One thing I learned from that is that it's good that I have trained my hair to repel water. It's good that I have trained my hair to have tightly shut cuticles. It's good that I trained my hair to basically be water resistant because even even before I went to the beach, what I did was I I put I, I put my hair bad. I just put my hair butter and then I went to the beach and my hair got wet and so I washed it. And when it was dry I was like, hmm, the frizz is not that much, okay? But there is a bit of frizz, okay? It still has the metallic look that I like about it. You know the the sheen, the radiance, the glow, whatever. It's still there. I was worried that that was going to go away because water does remove that. Water and creams, okay? And then I went back to anointing my hair. One time around two weeks ago, I don't know, I put aloe vera the way that I showed in that video. I sliced aloe vera and just rubbed it slightly on the ends of my hair. Another thing that I would like to mention on this update is that a change that I have adopted in my hair is that I anoint my hair every single day. I I do the heavy anointing which was yesterday. This is why everyone it's so shiny and whatever. I whereby I take one by one and take hair butter and like just like the way I showed you guys in that clip. Okay, I will link the video down below for anyone who hasn't seen it. Yeah, bo. I do that. I do that heavy anointing twice a week. And what I do... And what I do on a daily basis, I just take... I just take something very small of hair butter. And... Okay and just get the ends of my hair this one is all of, this one is only for this side and then i take another but you can see that it doesn't need it okay it's very it doesn't need it but i don't want it to get to a state where it needs it i i I am being proactive if that's what you will see. Mama. Yeah, but I just take something very small and then I take at the ends. Only at the ends. Because when I do the heavy anointing thing, I I used to take at the ends. Because my hair was very short. Yeah, but and so I noticed that my hair is growing. So now I get the length of my hair together with the ends when I do when I do the whole one by one thing. Okay. Like maybe I get a section this or maybe and if my braids were bigger were bigger than they are right i would make sure that i go braid by braid but i don't want the inside of the braids to not catch the hair part. so that is what i have been doing that is another hair update that i anoint my hair every day because i am on a challenge of reaching brush job length as in eight weeks from now <laughs> I don't know, guys. I am just very hopeful that it will work, especially now that I anoint my hair every day. Yeah, mom? I am just doing that with my hair pad. My braids are eight weeks old right now, and I am due for 
I rape rate, but I'm not going to do it because my front looks okay to me. Maybe if it was this bushy, I don't know if you guys see the difference, but maybe if it was this bushy, because these braids are actually eight weeks old, but these ones are somewhat four weeks old. So I am going to rebraid my hair. I am going to see maybe at week ten, as in two weeks from now. And I and I don't know whether I'm going to rebraid only the front like I did, and that was somewhat easy for me, or I'm going to do even the back, okay? And then know that I am left with sixty with six weeks before takedown towards the end of March. I don't know if I'm going to do that two weeks from now. I will see when I rebraid my hair, and and that is the beauty of the mini braids chain like nothing is set in stone nothing is set in stone just because the routine says to rebraid here at eight weeks does not mean that you have to i see with my eyes that my front is pleasing to me like this is something that i can work with it's not it's not poofy it's not it's good it's still it's still good okay so the hair chain is all about discernment and not blindly following things because we are not robots we have discernment okay so yes i won't rebraid my hair right now i will see if i will see how i will see how it looks like um about two weeks from now if it needs to be rebated, then I'm going to do that. But if it does not, then come on. But maybe I think it will. And so I don't know if I'm just going to. I think I'm just going to do the front again. I will see, man. How if there is matting at the back, then I, I might just do the back too. Okay, I do not know, guys. I am going to see. But this is it for the updates. Bye, Felicia.